Let's talk about Miami's top two quarterback targets in the transfer portal. One of them is visiting right now, <laughs> and the other top target is going to be visiting tomorrow. Folks, this is a really, really important week. You are Locked on Canes, your daily podcast on the Miami Hurricanes, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. I am Alex Dono. I'm a University of Miami alumnus, longtime South Florida sports radio vet and contributor to allhurricanes.com. Thank you so much to the everydayers for making Locked on Canes your first listen and your first watch. We are free wherever you get your podcast. We are free on YouTube. We're part of the Locked on Network, your team every day. Today's episode is brought to you by Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash locked on college and use code locked on college for a first deposit match up to 100 bucks. Prize picks is daily fantasy sports made easy. So we get the news on uh, Monday afternoon that Will Howard, who I believe is one of Miami's top two quarterback targets, the Kansas State graduate transfer, he's on campus. He is visiting the University of Miami. And that's great news. Even better news is Cam Ward, the Washington State transfer, who we have believed here on Locked on Canes, this is our very informed opinion that he is Miami's number one quarterback target. He's the number one target for a lot of schools out there. Ohio State has been talked about, Florida State. Cam Ward is going to be visiting tomorrow. So the Will Howard visit reportedly started today, Monday around 3 p.m. I imagine that's probably going to go well into the night. It's a one-day visit for Will Howard. So you hope it goes really well. Cam Ward is going to be arriving tomorrow, Tuesday, around the same time Howard arrived, around 3 p.m. I don't know for sure how long that visit is going to be. I do imagine that Ward probably plans to make multiple visits, but anytime you get this guy on campus, and there has been a dialogue, Miami has been communicating with Cam Ward since he entered the transfer portal. So it's not like they're discussing things and his opportunities here, you know, whether it be on the field opportunities, off the field opportunities, name, image, and likeness. I'm sure they've had a lot of discussions with him, but him actually getting down on campus, being able to have FaceTime with all of the important offensive coaches, Shannon Dawson, who's your OC and quarterbacks coach, Mario Cristobal, all the staff members, seeing all the facilities, getting, you know, your sense for campus life. I mean, this guy, he's played uh, the last uh, couple of years in the Pacific Northwest. He grew up in Texas, so he's probably not all that familiar with South Florida. It's a great opportunity to put on a great impression for your top quarterback target. So let's talk about these two players. Uh, Will Howard, who's visiting now, who I believe is probably option 1B, with Cam Ward being option 1A. Uh, Will Howard, who's played... uh, Got a lot of experience, four years at Kansas State. And, you know, he gets that fifth year of eligibility because the 2020 COVID season doesn't count against anyone's record. They threw that out for the entire NCAA. And he's coming off of a season, uh, Will Howard, where he uh, completed 61.3% of his passes, which was a career. It's not like stellar, but it's that was a career high for him in completion percentage, 61.3%, 2,643 passing yards. 24 touchdowns to 10 interceptions. And folks, I think this is an important quality in every quarterback that Miami looks at because this is something you you need this in 2023, 2024, really. Like you need it in this era of college football. I also believe you need it in the Shannon Dawson offense. Find someone with dual threat capabilities. Will Howard checks off that box this season. uh, 81 attempts for 351 rushing yards. Nine rushing touchdowns. You like that a lot, okay? So Will Howard, who again, uh, folks, I love the idea of you know getting somebody in with dual threat capabilities and getting someone in with experience, right? When you're talking about these upperclassmen, when you're talking about these grad transfers, you know, guys who you know have seen kind of similar, not the exact same thing, but similar offensive systems to the one that Shannon Dawson runs. They have one year at Miami to you know, raise their own stock and hopefully help the Hurricanes win 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 games next year if I could be so greedy to think the college football playoff might be. It is going to 12 teams next year. So you never know. 
Uh, but yeah, yeah, having an experienced guy to plug and play on a team that's got a pretty good roster. Miami's going to have one of the better rosters in the country next year. You've got to find the right quarterback. How many times did we say this past season, certain games that Miami lost, we were competent quarterbacking away from winning two, three more games than Miami won last year, this year with their seven and five record. And so, you know, Cam, Cam Ward, uh, you know, he definitely is seen to just have more, he's more dynamic. He's got really, really rare athleticism and big playability and his wow plays highlight real stuff. There's a reason why Ward is considered to be arguably the most sought after quarterback in the transfer portal right now. You guys let me know though, in the comments, uh, is it Cam Ward or bust? for you would you be happy with either one ward or howard do you prefer howard over ward let us know what you think about these quarterbacks in the comments below uh but cam ward uh this past season at washington state let's pull up the old uh the old stat sheet for him uh he started his career at uh, incarnate word uh but the last two years at washington state he can transfer a second time because he's a graduate transfer you can transfer as a grad with no penalty he completed 66.6% of his passes, which is pretty darn good. 3,300, uh, sorry, 3,735 passing yards, 25 touchdowns to seven interceptions. Also dynamic on the ground, dynamic extending plays. Now, the rushing stats don't tell the full story because remember, quarterback rushing stats, they subtract the sack yards, and he got sacked a ton at Wazoo. I'm sure that. That's one of the reasons why, you know, he wants to play one year with a team with a better offensive line. Hey, Miami's got a pretty good offensive line, uh, so I'm sure that that's one of the reasons. So you can't really take the stats at face value, but uh, 144 rushing yards, eight rushing touchdowns. Uh, he only averaged 1.2 yards per carry technically, but that's not really a good indicator of his mobility. He's very mobile when you take the sack. He got sacked a ton last year when you take when you put the sack yardage in there. Uh, it makes it look worse than it really is. But Ward, can't again, you're going to be battling multiple other schools for him. Ward, uh, to be able to get him down on campus, though, try to put your best foot forward. You got to hope Miami can try to close here, right? Because, again, I, I wouldn't mind whatsoever Will Howard being the next Miami quarterback, but Cam Ward is the guy that you really want to get the answer from first. Now, according to reports today, it's not just those two who are working on visits for this week. Howard's visit is already finishing up. Ward's visit is reportedly going to happen tomorrow on Tuesday. And according to Kane Sport, Dante Moore, who's in a very different situation from the previous two names, because Moore, he's not a grad transfer. He's not an upperclassman. He's a second-year guy with three years of eligibility left, former top-two quarterback recruit in the country in the class of 2023. He's leaving UCLA. Uh, this, you know, I don't believe that Dante Moore is plug and play, you know, can help elevate you to 10, 11 wins this year. But I do believe there's really something there for the long term. And, you know, he has said it. His father has said it. Dante Moore wants to find some place that he can be developed. So it's interesting. Uh, according to uh, Moore and his family and reports from Kane Sport, he's working on scheduling a visit soon, maybe later this week. So Miami could end up with three quarterbacks visiting this week. And again, I like Dante Moore in the long term, not as much in the short term. So if that ends up being a quarterback Miami would bring in, if he does want to come to Miami and Miami wants to give him that offer, if he's a take, so to speak, you would have to wonder, do they view him as a potential starter as soon as 2024? Or do they bring in another veteran you know, a, an experienced guy like the previous two names we mentioned in conjunction with a Dante Moore. Uh, and, you know, there, there's a lot that comes into trying to close the deal with any of these quarterbacks. It's not just the recruiting aspect and the facilities and the scheme fit. In this day and age, we know how important name, image, and likeness is. We know how important the business opportunities are. Now, um, Miami, I have every reason to believe they feel like they can be really, really competitive in that area. The collective is healthy right now. And let's not forget, Tyler Van Dyke was a big NIL earner, and he's no longer a Miami Hurricane. So that does free up a lot of that NIL money. Does that mean Miami's resources are unlimited? Absolutely not, right? In the case of someone like Ward or someone like Howard, it's kind of unpredictable in this wild, wild west. 
if bidding wars do come into play, could you get priced out of it? It's possible. Absolutely. But I'm here to tell you from a Miami standpoint, they feel like they can be really competitive in that area. So this week is going to be a lot of fun. It's not only going to be a lot of fun following this stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun here on Locked on Canes. I wasn't even supposed to do an episode today. Uh, I've been traveling for the past few days. I'm finally going to be, you know, officially back home tomorrow. And we're going to do an episode tomorrow with the truth teller live at 11 a.m. Me and Bruce Warner, the truth teller. But, you know, when news like this comes out about these visits, I had to find a way to get on. And for those who have followed this show for the last year and a half that I've been doing Locked on Canes, you know, whenever Dono takes a family trip during the off season guaranteed something big is going to happen. It always goes this way during my trip. It always, always, I got to find a way to get on big news breaks. And obviously Miami doesn't have a quarterback yet, so it's not news of that scale. But when you talk about confirmed visits, Will Howard on campus now, Cam Ward on campus tomorrow, Dante Moore trying to get on campus, big enough, I had to find a way to find a way to do an episode. So thank you so much for making Locked on Canes your first listen today. And folks, I hope you're taking advantage of what Prize Picks has to offer down there. It's just you versus the numbers on Prize Picks. Guys, try it. Uh, when you make your deposit, uh, prizepicks.com slash locked on college with our code locked on college, all one word. They're going to match your first deposit up to 100 bucks. We will talk to you guys. Tomorrow, Tuesday, with the truth teller, Bruce Warner. I know he's happy that Miami's got quarterback visits coming up because he doesn't want Miami to lose any more time in getting one of these guys hopefully locked in. So we'll talk to you then on another episode of Locked on Canes, part of the awesome Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day.